Hey, Mom, Dad, everybody, back home. Send money. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, how's it going? Hey, can I ask you a personal question? Just between me and you, what do you think of this 34-year-old movie, this old movie? Is it any good? I love it. During intermission, I learned so much. I didn't realize that the Life magazine story was based on a Zane Grey novel until today. Things keep happening. Oh, pardon me. Louis L'Amour. Wrong writer. Sorry. See, I get corrected all the time. This young lady over here in an orange t-shirt, you're what, seven, eight years old? Ten. Oh, pardon me. I can't get just ages anyways. Uh, she told me she thought the film was wonderful. I love it when we're winning over 10-year-old movie watchers watching 34-year-old movies and saying they're having a great time. Um, I want to make a couple of points I forgot to do during the introduction. A lot of people don't realize that the costumes for the film, when they originally made the costumes, the focus was so sharp that the stitching that a sewing machine made showed up as too even to look like 1840s, 1850s. They had to throw away all those costumes and actually import material from India, handmade cloth, and have it hand sewn together. They had to make 2,400 pairs of handmade shoes, which I don't know if they cost much to make in 62, but if you tried to make handmade shoes today, it'd be kind of expensive. You all set? Okay, stall. Okay. Uh, I'd like to also make another announcement. Today is a very special day. It's October 13th. On this day, certain famous people were born. Cornell Wilde in 1918, Yves Montand in 1921, Nipsey Russell in 1924, Lenny Bruce in 1925, Arthur Garfunkel in 1941, Damon Wilson in 46, Beverly Johnson in 52, Marie Osmond was born on this date in 1959, Kelly Preston in 63, and Patricia Campbell in 1970. And uh, John, would you please come down front so we can recognize our projectionist? On his 60th birthday, ladies and gentlemen, Master John Well, take a look. There might be a check. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Is this going to make me feel like I'm there? <laughs> <laughs> not like Cinerama, no. Sorry. Oh, hey. Marilyn Monroe. Uh, this is John Harvey's birthday. Well, it might be kind of personal. So, so I don't have any trouble seeing the big screen, but this <laughs> small writing here. <laughs> This is from Jenny. And me and Hollywood and the staff of the Neon. And well, anybody who wants to sign it after the second half, this card will be at the stand. You've got the biggest fan club I know. And we <laughs> last night we had uh, 10 hours preparation for this event. So we, we ran out and got you this really wonderfully decorated present. <laughs> uh, Jenny, who couldn't be here today, uh, picked this one out especially because, of all things, it's got Bumstead on the front cover and it's his birthday. So take a look at what it is. It's not exactly Cinerama, but there's a connection I think you'll enjoy. I should open it right now. Open it right now. It's a very rare piece. Unfortunately, we can't get him anything he doesn't have as far as original Cinerama material because he's the father of the Cinerama Museum in this country. And this is his living room, so when are you going to get a guy who's got everything? Is this the I'm wondering where it is. Yeah, this is the unofficial, soon to be permanent, I hope. Oh, she wrapped it like she would for Christmas, huh? You've got the packages inside of packages. Yes, really wrapped up good. But I actually probably didn't want it to break. It might be. Uh, something autographed by James Stewart. Jimmy Stewart autographed. It was as close as we could come to how the West was won. Jimmy Stewart, unfortunately, does not give autographs anymore, but that was one I got from about 10 years ago. And Henry Fonda's in the picture, and it's from a Western, yes. the Cheyenne Social Club, directed by Gene Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the cake ready? Uh -oh. hey, I know we didn't have enough candles. It's ready? Yeah, bring it on down. Okay. Bring on the cake. All right, We're going to turn it into a restaurant here where we do it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this, uh, this definitely is my new larger living room. <laughs> I'm used to seeing about 15 when I run this in my home, but uh, this is really overwhelming. It's one of the biggest crowds we've had, John. It's like 200 people here. 
marquee as you leave this afternoon you'll see we changed it while he was running the movie it says that John Cinerama Harvey is 60 and sexy today <laughs> Hit the stop button. <laughs> <laughs> 